everyone, happy Saturday. So on Saturdays we do PR unboxings where I get to show you guys all the new launches for the week that I get in PR, super exciting. We've got lots back here. So if you guys are brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. My name is Madison, feel free to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the PR unboxings. And don't forget to come back to my channel every Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesdays are gonna be like mommy lifestyle routine videos and Thursdays are gonna be makeup related videos and then Saturdays are our PR hauls. So we're like getting onto a groove here and I am really, really happy happy about it. So super stoked about that. Comment down below if you have any video requests. I do have my list already of what I'm trying to tackle, but I'm always down to add more or add a star next to the ones that are highly requested. So I know to do those ASAP. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and see what I got in PR this week. Also, if you're ever curious about what I am wearing in videos, make sure to check the description box down below. I link everything now. I'm getting a lot better with it. So definitely check the description box down below if you have questions about anything. Also, if you wanna take a closer look at any of these products, I always have a link down below. So definitely check them out. But let's go ahead and grab our first package. First up, we have some new products from Fenty Beauty and it looks like they came out with eyeliners. So they came out with 20 Intense Matte Metallic shimmer and glitter eyeliner shades. Oh wow, they came out with quite a bit. So we have the new Fly Pencil Longwear Pencil Liner. So they sent over four shades. So the shades that they sent over is Purple Stuff, Space Cookie, Black Card, and Cuz I'm Black. So let's see. I wonder if some of these, they have different finishes to them. They don't say it on it of what the finish would be, but let's try because I'm black because I usually like a black eyeliner the most. This is what the packaging looks like right here. I love her packaging. It's always so beautiful and it's just a retractable one. So you just twist it and you can bring it up. Oh my God, this thing is creamy and it's like nice and black and matte. My gosh, look at that one, you guys. Wow, I feel like this will glide on to even like the waterline so nicely. Remember back in the day when like Avril Lavigne was big, this is when I was in middle school and everyone used to like waterline their eyes and do like black liner. That was like the huge thing to do back then. And they just didn't have the best eyeliners back then. <laughs> and this would have been really good. That's literally what I thought about when I opened this up. I was like, oh my God, I would have loved this in middle school when I did that with Avril Lavigne and like wearing her like tie. Remember how she would wear a tie? Oh my God, I just dated myself. But anyway, <laughs> let's swatch another color. Another one that I want to swatch is Space Cookie. I also love a brown. I like to like kind of smoke out a brown on my lid when I do do any eyeliner. I'm actually wearing eyeshadow today. I just kind of liked a really nice matte brown eyeshadow. I don't know, I just think that it's fun, it's easy to do. Kind of changes up the look a little bit. I use the ColourPop palette, the one that is it, what's it called? Bare Necessities. I'm telling you, if you're a mom or if you just love neutral shadows and you just want an everyday palette that's affordable, you need to get the ColourPop one. That one is bomb, it's like all I use. So here is the brown right there. Again, just as creamy, just as pigmented, glides right on. Oh, I'm so, oh, and it even smudges out pretty nicely too. Look at that. These are really, really nice. Oh, that, those are gonna be so much fun. I'll go ahead and swatch the other two shades for you guys, just in case if you wanna like, you know, see an up close and like swatch of them to see if you wanna pick them up. This one is the black card. Wondering if this one has a bit of shimmer. No, th yeah, this one has a little bit of a shimmer to it. So I, I swatched it next to the black one so you can kind of see the difference. You can see that it's not as like opaque as the black. Like it's not like the true black, but it's still really pretty and it has tiny bits of shimmer into it. But honestly, you could barely tell. Last but not least, we have purple stuff. Swatch. I love the applicators of these. I think the components are beautiful. Oh, look at this purple. Oh, that is really, really pretty. Oh, I like that. I'm definitely gonna be using eyeliner tomorrow. These are gorgeous. So definitely check these out, you guys. They swatch really, really nicely and the formula looks bomb. Next up, we have a package from NH Couture right here and you can go to it at Shop NH Couture. So let's see what they sent over. Oh, that's so pretty. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the rose from Beauty and the Beast. Look at how gorgeous this little necklace that they sent over. It is just a really pretty gold rose and seriously is throwing me back to the rose for Beauty and the Beast. So this is really gorgeous. So I'm definitely gonna go check out more what they have on their Instagram and their site, but I will have a link down below 
below if you guys want to also check them out. All right, so it looks like Glow Recipe expanded their watermelon glow collection and they came out with this new thing called Watermelon Glow Lip Pop. I am here for it. Oh my goodness. So this is it. This is the lip pop. You know how good this is going to feel and just like taste on the lips? Like I can just picture it now. I wish I wasn't wearing a lip color. Oh my goodness, I am so stoked for this. I love lip products and this one, oh, I, even though I know it's clear, it's got like, oh wait, no, it has a little bit of a tint. It's like a little bit of a light pink tint. You can see it on my hand right there. It feels good, just feels like a balm. Smells so good too. It reminds me of those big bubble gums. You know those watermelon big bubble gums where they're like these big blocks of squares? That's what I like smell with this. This is amazing. Or like a Starburst, but ah, oh my gosh. I am, so, I love lip balms, you guys. I go through them like crazy. So I'm super stoked about that. They also sent over some more of their Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist right here. And then we also have another one of their Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer which these smell bomb too. So thank you so much to Glow Recipe for sending these over. I have to say, I'm living for this right now. I cannot wait to use this. Next up is a package from Jane Iredell. And I was actually just thinking about Jane Iredell recently. And they sent over their Beauty Prep Face Moisturizer. This is a hydrating moisturizer, natural formula with organic lemongrass in it. I'm actually really stoked about that. I talked about in my haul video that I did for my Sephora haul, which by the way, you guys, it went up on Thursday. So I know that's gonna be like a new day that you guys probably don't know about. So definitely tune in on Thursdays for makeup videos. Um, but I love trying out new moisturizers. I think it's so much fun. And I feel like that is probably one of my favorite skincare products to try is a moisturizer. I know, weird. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say that. Usually it's like a face mask, but lately it's been moisturizers. So they also sent over the Beauty Prep Face Toner right here, which kind of helps like the pH balance in your skin after you wash your face, you wanna use a toner before you use your moisturizer, or if you don't use a toner, you wait a little bit after you wash it to kinda of let it balance out on its own and then throw on your moisturizer. That's what I've learned over the years. Um, next up we have the Beauty Prep Face Cleanser to try out, and then also a hyaluronic serum, which I'm all about, give me that moisture, I need it so badly. And then we have the Corrective Colors right here, and this is, oh, it's a concealer palette. Oh, I'm liking this. Yellow cancels red, which I thought was green cancels red. I don't know. Well, it says yellow cancels red, peach cancels blue, purple, and gray. Lilac cancels yellow, beige for all purpose concealer. So that's a little bit of everything right there. I'm very excited to try these out. I love these types of pots concealers. I don't know why, but I just have fun with them, especially the color correcting ones. I think those are always fun, especially with the purple. The purple really helps brighten up the skin, I feel like it's very brightening, so we have that. And then next up, they sent over a Skin Ultimate Skin Hair and Nails. This is something that I really, really need right now. The reason why I haven't taken anything like this is because we're gonna start trying here soon. Um, we did not wanna do it this month because it would be the same birthday as Riley and Joel does not want their birthdays near. He's like, I don't wanna take away from Riley's birthday. So we are going to wait a little bit and I've just been so scared to take anything like in my body. I think it's because I'm being so much more cautious this time around, like even more so than my first pregnancy with Riley, just because I like having the miscarriage. I don't know. I'm just really, really scared for this time. And I want to try these. I really, because I think these would be great for me right now because my hair really needs it. But I just don't want to put anything in my body right now. Um, I'll definitely do some research on it. Let me know if you guys have ever taken any like hair, skin, or nail vitamin before you were trying to get pregnant or during it. Let me know. Um, I know prenatal vitamins have a lot of biotin and stuff that really help that. So I'm going to be starting my prenatals again. It sucks because my ritual ones just expired. So I'm going to go grab some other ones. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I have to see how, I don't know. I'm, this is me just like, try, I just don't know. I'm being really cautious right now. Um, which is understandable for what I just went through. But they also sent over, oh my God, look at how cute this little case is right here. I love this. Oh my goodness. And it even has like the little hook. You know what? I love the size of this. This would be a perfect little travel toiletry bag 
for Riley. It's too small for me because I, I carry too much product. But for Riley, I feel like it would be the best size for her. So definitely going to use that whenever we go traveling. Um, they sent over a palm mist and this is a hydration spray. Oh, that will be really nice. It's also like a really kind of like a metal container. That's really cool. So we have a hydrating spray. Then we have a pure breast, pure breast, <laughs> pure pressed base mineral foundation refill. So we have a refill here. Boom. That's also like really nice to also like top onto your foundation just to add a little bit of coverage and to also help set it because I love liquid foundations. Then we have a bronzer refill recharge right here, peaches and cream. I'm definitely gonna pop these into a Z palette. Then we have Enlighten One. So this is a concealer. Ooh, we have another pot concealer here, you guys. So this is the pot concealer. You know what? It reminds me so much of my Glow Skin Beauty one that I love. Ooh, this is like creamy. Ooh, definitely a little dark for me. I don't think I, I would probably use this underneath my eyes to correct any darkness. I don't really have that though, but I would have to use that when I'm self tan. By the way, you guys can see the ring. Like I have no more self tanner on my hands because I wash my hands religiously. Like I'm washing them 24 seven just because I am so scared of any of us getting sick ever again. So I literally have no self tanner left on my hands. Um, then they also sent over the Smooth Affair. This is a facial primer and brightener. Definitely want to try this out ASAP. I'm always down to try out new primers right here. It kind of sucks with the Laura Mercier one, which was so weird. The blurring one, I think it broke me out, you guys, because I broke out in like little pimples all right here, and that's where I put the primer at. So I think it was that primer because it was literally at the end of the day of trying out that primer. So I'm so bummed about that, but I love throwing in little updates here and there of like what I've tried, of what I have like, you know, from the products I get in PR. But I'm excited to try out that primer. Then we also have, oh, how cute. Oh, this is so neat. Oh, I love this. It's like one of those little pill thingies. Oh, this will be great to like put some Aleve in. I even have like my Aleve right here. I've had like a bad headache today and coffee. I had like a little cup of coffee this morning thinking maybe that might help. No, it's just a bad headache. Um, I think it's because I slept on my back wrong. So I think it's like affecting my head. I think it's creating a tension headache. But it says, Happy New Year. We all deserve to start 2020 off at our most radiant prioritizing skin health and hydration for a glow that will last all year. Our makeup artists have curated a clean regimen specifically targeted towards your needs. In clothes, you'll find our most hydrating and nourishing products with skin loving ingredients that will leave your skin feeling dewy, soft, and smooth. Cheers to putting our best faces forward in 2020 and beyond. Yay! So thank you so much to Jane Iredell for setting these over. I'm very excited. This is really pretty too, by the way. This bronzer, I like, this is a pretty, um, I don't wanna really open it up yet. I'm gonna try it out tomorrow. It'd be a really pretty blush too. So, yep. There's everything from Jane Iredell, super excited. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you guys ever did any type of hair, skin, or nail vitamins or anything like that. But thank you so much to Jane Iredell for sending these over. I'm very stoked to try these out. Next up is a package from Catrice Cosmetics, and they say, Happy 2020 to kick off the new year. We wanted to share our newest and cutest launch with you, our Bay Palette Collection. Ooh, so we have a new collection here. So this is what it looks like. This is really cool. This is another like almost toiletry case. Or yeah, definitely toiletry case. And then what you do is you unbuckle it and you can just like stick it to the side anywhere. Wow, that's neat. Okay, so it opens up like this. So we have all the palettes here, all the Bay palettes. So let's pop these out really quickly. All right, so first off we have Self Made Bay, which is an eyeshadow, all of them are eyeshadow palettes, but this is what this one looks like so you guys can get a closer look to it. It's really pretty, the tones are gorgeous. I'm gonna kinda see which one I wanna swatch because you guys know I always share with you. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just got a text from Rise Daycare and she was playing in a little tunnel and look at how happy she looks right now. She's having so much fun. Oh my goodness, let me show you this other one of her. That face is everything. Look at how cute she is. I love that she is having so much fun in daycare. She loves it and you guys, it has done wonders for her social skills. Uh, we signed up for gymnastics, cl gymnastics class and the instructor, they had to evaluate her before she even went in there because she's 15 months and it's from 15 to 27 months for that class. And they wanna make sure that they'll try to do everything, like all the obstacles. 
and that they're not gonna throw a tantrum and be scared and crying the whole time. And Riley was just like immediately like, let's go, let's do this, let's do this and this and this. And the lady was just like, she's really good with new people. Like she doesn't get scared of anyone and she wants to try everything. And I'm like, I know she's got, she doesn't have the whole stranger danger. Sometimes it does come out a little bit, but it's like literally it might be like her little shy and then she warms up immediately. She's very, very good with her social skills and I owe a lot of that to daycare and she loves it. She loves playing with the other kids. So I'm all for it. But the next palette that we have here is Basic Bay and it's a really pretty neutral palette. I feel like these palettes are all very wearable. Um, I love the tones in this one, absolutely stunning. And then we have Badass Bay right here, which still is such wearable shades. And the reason why I say wearable is because majority of the jobs out there in the corporate world and stuff are not gonna allow you to come into the office with bright blue makeup. They're just not. It's a corporate world. It just is what it is as much as we don't like it. It's, it's what it is. And I feel like I love color because it does allow you to be creative and express yourself, especially if you're an artist. But in everyday life, I feel like it's just neutral shades that are very wearable and palettes like this are great for everyday use, especially if you do work in the corporate world or if you're just like, I want more neutral colors, I feel a little bit more comfortable with neutral colors. So I love it that they made these palettes fun, but still very wearable. So I think these are all great palettes. Um, I'm gonna try to swatch this one because I know I'm gonna go right into this guy. Let's do a shimmer shade, which usually always swatch very well. This is hashtag WCW. That one is that one right there. And then let's go into, ooh, let's do a matte. Ooh, I like this. I always question the mattes because the mattes are like a little bit drier in some palettes, but this one is actually really nice, easy to blend. Really beautiful matte shades. Um, I love it that they have a cream like matte shade in here too, cause that is like a must have in my palettes. This is like a gold color, it's called hashtag twinning. And then there's that shimmer. See, those are pretty. I think these are really pretty palettes and usually Catrice is very affordable too. So I'm definitely gonna try these out and I'll let you guys know what I think about them. All right, so next up we have a package from the lovely Ofra Cosmetics and it's their Take Charge, so they're relaunching. So they're relaunching their metallic shadows, it looks like, and these retail for $15. Let me see, so we have Bossy Eyes 5 Star. Oh, these are called their Bossy Eyes, sorry. So 5 Star Rosé. And then we have Fortune and, ooh, I like this color, Penthouse. Let's swatch Penthouse real quick. These metallic shades are always so much fun to use. I feel like they're just nice and quick. Like I would go in with just a matte shadow and then pop, pop this on top. Oh, I think it's really, really pretty. Look at that. That is gorgeous. I love tones like this. It's like a cooler brown. Just like a cool tone brown. Just really nice and beautiful. Um, you know what? We're gonna pop this onto my lid a little bit right now. Let's do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually kind of put this on and then I'm going to spread it with my finger because I want it to be nice and lightweight. <sighs> I love using a brush. I hate using my finger. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Oh, that is really, really pretty. So I used to have a coat with Ofra, but I don't think it works anymore. Cause I, would, I actually tried to use it myself and it wasn't working. So I don't think it works anymore. I need to email them to see if maybe what's going on with it or if they took them away. Um, so I'll let you guys know, but they usually always have like sales or codes and stuff otherwhere, elsewhere, but these are really pretty. That's gorgeous. I really like these. They feel nice and lightweight on the lids. They feel kind of cooling at first cause you know it is a liquid but it feels good and I think it's really pretty and I think it kind of like stepped up this look a little bit. So very excited about those. It looks like they reformulated them. So that is nice. So thank you to Oprah for sending these over. Okay, so next up is a package from Avon and they sent over a clean green and serene. Oh, it's a facial oil. It's called Green Goddess. It retails for $34.99. It is 99% natural ingredients, CBD, hemp seed oil, sunflower seed oil, turmeric, jojoba seed oil, squalane, 
boil and azulene. Probably butchered a lot of those names, but you get what I'm saying. So we have hemp derived facial oil calms and soothes, soothes stressed out skin, dry oil for easy absorption, suitable for sensitive skin, rich in omega fatty acids and vitamin E, natural botanical skincare that's ultra pure and sustainable, sustainably sourced, very fragrance free, vegan, hypoallergenic, dermatologist tested, and THC free. So I am so down to try out new oils and again this like packaging just really reminds me of glow recipes packaging how it's nice and sleek like that i love this i love having this stuff out on my counter in my bathroom just because i feel like it makes it look pretty but i don't know i'm excited to try this out i actually kind of want to put a little bit on there i need a new oil anyways um i actually just literally my the one i love from tatcha is already it's basically gone. I have like a couple drops left and I've been saving it for days that I like I really want my skin to look good. Ooh, it is a dry oil. It is a dry oil. But it just brought a lot of luminosity to my skin. Doesn't feel like I have anything on there. Ooh, this will be nice. I'm excited. Very excited. Definitely gonna use that tonight. Ooh, I always like PR hauls. I try out so many stuff, so much stuff at night. Cause I'm like, I want to use this. I want to use this. <laughs> okay. So next up we have a package from Orly and they sent over their feel the beat collection. So these are the shades. These are really pretty. I'm actually like really going more towards these ones. This shade right here. Gorgeous. I really, I got to do my toes again. I haven't done my toes in a long time. I need to go get my nails done, but I really hate getting my nails done and sitting there and doing them. And then plus, as you guys know, I have the worst luck. I have the worst luck getting my nails done. I kind of am just done with it, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but they also sent over their Point Blanc and this is their French manicure tip. It would be awesome if I was able to do those myself, but I can't, I, well, I could do my right, I can do my left hand, but I can't do my right hand. Yeah. Um, they also sent over a sigh of relief. It's a warming pain relief. Barefoot. Oh, how interesting. Go ahead, breathe out. Ah, sigh of relief gives you weary feet, much needed relief from soreness, joint pain, and muscle aches. I wonder if you could put this anywhere because I would totally put it on my back right now because my back hurts. I think you could use it. Yeah, test on a small patch of skin. I'm pretty sure for use temporarily minor aches and pains and joints, strains and bruises, sprays. Yeah, you could totally use this anywhere. Sorry, I like totally... I don't know. Anyways, totally gonna use that on my back. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys wanna try out any of these products from the Barefoot Scientist is what they sent over. They actually have their code right here. If you use the code TIP2TOE15, you'll be able to get 15% off at barefootscientist.com. So if you guys wanna try that out, go check that out and save 15% off. Sweet. So thank you so much to Orly for sending these over. I definitely want to do my nails right now. <laughs> All right. So next up from Pro Fusion Cosmetics, they have blushing and brushing. So we have a new palette here, which is actually really, really pretty. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? Um, let me open this up. It reminds me of one of those naked palettes from Urban Decay. Um, but let's see how they swatch. Their stuff is really reasonable. Oh, these are pretty. I actually think I like the shimmers. I'm gonna swatch, yeah. I like the shimmer feeling more in this palette than I do in the Catrice palettes. Oh my gosh. These are really nice. Like really nice. Even, you guys, the mattes feel like satin. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna swatch a darker shade in it to kind of see how it swatches. These are just really nice, like really nice. Oh my goodness. I wonder how the black is gonna swatch. Should I try it? I should try the black. Let me like wipe off this finger, okay. Nightlife. I have to say they feel good in the pan. The black is actually pretty nice. It's actually really nice. Again, Wow, do they have a price for this? No, they don't have a price on it. I bet you it's probably like, what, 10 bucks or 10, 15 bucks at Target where they sell Pro Fusion. You guys, I definitely recommend picking up this palette if these colors speak to you. These are really, really pretty colors. Definitely try those out. So they sent over this palette right here. Again, it's called Nude Eyes. I will have it linked down below for you guys. Um, and then they also sent over some new brushes. So I think I, they must have just came out came out with brushes. So we have just like a mix of stuff in here, like eyeshadow, crease brushes, looks like a concealer brush, all over shadow brush, pencil brush, 
angled brush and spoolie for the eyebrows. Just a little bit of everything there, very nice. They also seem like they're gonna be rel relatively affordable too. They don't have a price on them. So definitely I will have a link down below so you guys can check them out. But very impressed with this palette, I have to say. Like this palette really swatched well. Oh my goodness, you guys, I bought this. <laughs> I had a feeling when I saw the Tatcha package here and I was like, wait a second, Madison, you might have the serum stick in your PR. You might have it, especially because if it's new, and I did, but I bought it myself at Sephora for my Sephora haul that you guys saw on Thursday. But they sent over the serum stick, which I'm excited though anyways, because now I can kind of see a little bit more about what they say about it. Because a lot of the times with PR packages, they give you a really good rundown of what the product does and what it is. So it's a treatment and touch up balm, a whole face. So use like a liquid serum to visibly soften fine lines and wrinkles. Forehead, soften, soften the look of worry lines, which I said in that video where I would put it, really is right here, because this is where I'm very expressive. And I don't use, I don't do Botox anymore. So I would definitely place it right there. Under eye area, yes. Reduce midday creppiness and refresh concealer. So I guess you could even take this over your makeup, which is really, really nice. Cheeks, moisturize and soothe dry patches, add a subtle, subtle glow around the mouth, soften the look of laugh lines. So if you get these really bad, which I used to get those really, really bad when I first started YouTube. Like I wanna say the first couple years of doing YouTube, I would get laugh lines so bad. And I think what it really came down to is one, I was not moisturizing enough. My skincare routine was not on point. I think when I really started implementing a lot of moisture, moisturizer and serums and oils into my skincare routine, it really toned down that area on my face. Two, I think it was also trying to find the right foundation for my skin. If it's too heavy and cakey, it's gonna really sink into those lines. And I think also just learning how to set my face, just basically learning makeup te techniques and also learning how to prep my skin for makeup has changed it drastically. So if you are dealing with the laugh lines and stuff, I definitely recommend really making sure that you're moisturizing your skin and put a little bit less product in that area. I think you'll see a huge difference, but this is the package that came inside. It's really cute. It's like a little book, which is really cool. So it looks like this. You open up the bookmark and it actually has a little cutout of where the product is in the book. So this is so neat. It's a wish journal. Oh, how cool. They even have a date, today my wish is, and then you just write down in it each day. That is such a neat package. PR package right here. Like this is something that we would totally use. Oh, that is so cool. An act of care I will do for myself is, an act of care I will do for someone else is, just like as a reminder for each day. I really, really like that. Oh, this is awesome. So this is what the product looks like. I have already hauled this and I've showed this to you guys. Um, I will open it up really quickly. I actually have, let me grab mine. This is mine right here. See, two of them. This is the one that I've already swatched and I actually used it a little bit today and I put it in those areas. I don't have much to say on it yet because I really want to use it a little bit more. Um, but it is a very interesting product. I had no idea that you could totally use this over your makeup, so I might try that out today, but I don't wanna say much on it until I use it a little bit more, and then I will talk on it. But what's nice is that I actually have a backup for it already, so this is perfect. So that is the serum stick, and that was actually highly requested by you guys to pick up and try out. All right, so this next package is pretty funny because I actually bought this on Amazon a long time ago, and I'm finally getting around to opening it up. But I bought it like during the holiday season because I have so much wrapping paper and it's literally just getting loose. And I have it like stored on my shelf in my laundry room because I have this open pantry of where like all these shelves in there. And a lot of it's getting crumpled in the back area. So I was like, you know what? I need to get an actual like good organizer for all my gift wrapping just to make it easier. So that is what I ordered on Amazon, you guys. I'm actually going to put everything in here and I'll show it to you on Instagram stories to see how it works, but it looks like a really good heavy du duty gift wrap organizer. I don't know. <laughs> this is adulting right now. You get excited over this stuff, but yeah. So I got the black one. 
will be interesting to see how this goes. I actually like it that it has everything in one place and I think it's gonna also help keep my wrapping paper from getting destroyed and ruined. So I'm gonna be definitely moving everything over. I just thought I would show that. I'll have it linked down below if you guys want need to find something similar. Um, but yeah, that will be linked down below. Okay, so these are really cute, mom. My mom actually sends stuff to my PO box. I had no idea this was from Nordstrom's and oh my God, these are actually really, really cute that my mom ordered. <laughs> oh, these are adorable. They like have pink on the edge. I love Ons. If you guys are looking for a really good like shoe, just like a walking shoe, even running shoe. I know Joel loves to work out in them too. Um, Ons are amazing. They are now carrying them at Nordstrom. So you can get them at a Just Run store. You can get them on the oncloud.com. They're great shoes. They're nice and lightweight. I always get compliments on mine, but these are really cute, mom. I see you. I see you ordering things and sending them to my PO box. All right, so last but not least here, I have my lips. If you guys followed me on Instagram when I went to the It Cosmetics event in LA, we did this really fun activity where we just did like a bunch of kisses and they had a stencil and then we had to fill it up with their new lipsticks that they came out with, which are really, really nice by the way. They came out with matte collection and then also a creamy collection. But we did those here and it turned out really good. They had it like framed or, and stuff and put, I don't know, they had it framed and they sent it over to us, which is really cool of them. So thank you, It Cosmetics, for sending this to me. I love this. I'm gonna probably do a frame around it, like put it in something so that way Joel can put it up into my room. I think that would be really, really awesome um, to have it up in my makeup room. So this is cool. So again, thank you, It Cosmetics. And you guys are also probably wondering why I have all these boxes still left behind, the Ipsy and the box charm boxes, and I'm not showing those. It's because I decided I'm gonna do an IGTV video of them. They're from the month of January, so they're a little bit older. So I thought, you know what, this will be great to kind of throw up on my Instagram. It would be really fun to do over there because I also haven't created an IGTV video there in a really long time. So I think I'm gonna do that. So if you guys wanna check it out, head over to my Instagram and it will be popped up there for you. But that is the end of this PR unboxing. We've got a lot of new stuff, very excited. The skincare stuff, I'm really excited to try out this dry oil. And heck, I'm gonna put this on my back right now. <laughs> Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next one, which will be on Tuesday. So go and check it out.